back to my channel. Um, uh, it's been a very eventful two days. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have tonsillitis right now. I just got back actually from a drive up um, urgent care um, and I had to get uh, moxicillin and lidocaine, I think it is. It's like a super thick steroid, which uh, helps try to like mask the pain. Um, I don't wanna get too much into it in this video, but um, I know people are going through a lot worse and I'm not complaining, but it's very, very painful. My tonsils are super swollen up right now. Um, and there's barely any like airway like the, like each one is so swollen that when I open my mouth you can barely see down there and it, it just feels like a knife every time I swallow it's so bad um, but I still want to get this video up for you guys today I actually filmed this meal prep last night so that's what you're about to see um, I've done so many meal prep videos on my channel before so it's nothing revolutionary this is stuff I always eat and my son also really likes it um, but this is the easiest like meal prep for weight loss in my opinion <laughs> we all know that I'm no chef this is so easy if I can do it you can do it just heat everything up and you're good like it's so easy um, but I did want to do another giveaway in this video I want to do a $50 so everything in this meal prep is under 35 bucks or under 25 I think it's so affordable um, and if you want to recreate all of this at home, I would love to pay for that for you. So I'm going to pick one of you guys and give you 50 bucks to any grocery store that you have in your hometown. So um, if you win, um, you need to leave a, all you have to do to enter is thumbs up this video and leave a comment down below of how I can contact you. Um, either your Instagram or your email or whatever it may be. Um, and I will give you, I will go online and get a $50 gift card. I'm so sorry, my voice is so bad today. Um, I'll get a $50 gift card for that grocery store for you and I will send that right to you or I could just Venmo you 50 bucks in cash, whatever is best. Um, so yeah, please be a subscriber of mine. Obviously I wanted to go to a supporter. Please thumbs up the video. It really helps with YouTube and the algorithm <laughs> and um, leave a comment below and that's it. So I know a lot of you have been requesting meal prep videos forever. Um, I've done so many of them and I just feel like the meals kind of got repetitive. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Again, it's so, so, so easy. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna try and talk as minimally as I can because my voice is like killing. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys so much and I hope you enjoy. All right guys, this is what we're working with. It's really, really easy. I'm gonna use these Tupperwares today. I do have some glass ones, but they're in the wash. So I'm gonna use these guys. Um, but yeah, what I'm gonna do is I am going to cook the chicken on the stovetop with some sauce. I think I'm gonna do this one today, which is the Mandarin Panda. I got this at Albertsons. There's also a Trader Joe's soyaki sauce that I like that I show on my Instagram a lot, but I'm out of it. Or you could do sriracha, you could do balsamic. I also just put a little bit of minced garlic in the pan before I cook anything. I got this big one from Stater's. It was like literally three bucks. Um, or there's a hot panda sauce. I mean, do whatever fits, floats your boat, like whatever you like. And then, so for my two entrees for lunch and dinner, I don't like to meal prep breakfast personally. I like to wake up and make waffles or like make something with my son. But for my uh, lunch and dinner for the week, I'm gonna do half salmon, half chicken, and then I'm just gonna season it. This I season with pink Himalayan salt, which is this guy. So nothing too crazy. Or you could do like lemon pepper. And then the panda sauce, the teriyaki sauce, is what I'm gonna season the chicken with, along with some of the veggies. And then for the um, veggies, I'm just going to like mix and match. I'm gonna do half broccoli, half asparagus, and then the other half will be, uh, these are squash and yellow zucchini along with mushrooms. So it's really easy, and I'm telling you guys, this takes like under an hour. The chicken cooks on the stovetop in like 12 minutes. What takes a little bit longer is the salmon. This will probably take like 20 to 25 minutes in the oven. Um, super easy, I wanna also just show you guys I'm gonna be straining and then washing a bunch of fruit to just have on hand, especially for Christian when he opens the fridge. I like it to all just be clean and ready to go in a Tupperware for him. Um, and then I also just take a few things on top of my food and like meals for the day. So I've been taking Harmony, which is incredible at balancing your hormones, improving your skin complexion, enhancing your energy and your mood. It actually says on the bottom, um, if you've struggled with acne outbreaks or had a difficult time losing weight, have terrible cravings, experience severe, sim severe PMS symptoms, or have trouble sleeping, Harmony can be your answer. It puts your body back into a balanced hormone state. So Paula actually recommended this to me. She's one of my friends um, and coaches with First Form. And you guys know I've used like probably 50 of their products over the years. Um, it's, I think this is my fifth year using their products. And I can honestly say this is one of my favorites. I highly recommend you guys check it out. I'll put a link below for free shipping for any First Form stuff, but I highly recommend you look at the reviews because that's not just my opinion. Those are people who've purchased. Um, I purchased this as well, but that's my second one. I'm gonna be taking two of those a day. I'm also just taking vitamin C two a day. And then I'm also taking magnesium, which has been helping with my headaches. And I've had to take less Excedrin. I've kind of replaced it with magnesium. Um, my friend Janae put me onto that. And then you guys know every day I take the micro factor. These are just the vitamin packs. Instead of paying for um, a whole like tub of each vitamin separately, you just pay for the packs and everything's in there. You just take one pack a day, super easy. And then I do take my greens powder every morning. I've been mixing it with the reds powder too, um, which I can put down below. But the, this is just literally incredible. I've probably tried like 
I don't know, five to 10 greens powders over the years, and this has been my favorite. It's the most dense. There's definitely, if you go to the First Form um, Instagram, I know they have a graph of this compared to like 10 other greens powders, and you can see that this is the darkest color green, and First Form actually um, does FDA testing on all their products, and they don't have to. I didn't know this, but su supplement companies are actually allowed to sell greens and vitamins and stuff without doing FDA testing. It's not required, but First Form does spend the extra money per product, which is apparently like hella expensive, um, to test everything and just make sure it's the best quality. So. If you guys have been wanting the greens, again, I'll put a link below. Don't just take my word. Like, look at the reviews. They're incredible. Anytime I feel super bloated um, or inflamed or anything, I swear within a day of just taking one scoop in the morning, one at night, I personally see a huge difference. So I'm going to get started on this for you guys. I'll do a voiceover and walk you through. It's really easy, but you just want to preheat your oven to 400, have your Tupperwares ready, and within an hour, you'll be done. All right, guys. So the first thing I do for the week is fill up my Brita. This is just good to go. Obviously, you have to refill it multiple times throughout the week, but it's so much more cost-effective than buying water bottles. I like to have a few water bottles on hand in case Christian or I go anywhere, um, but yeah, the Brita is awesome. So I got this little red guy at Target. I think it was like 25 bucks, um, and then before we actually get to the meal prep, I was making some tea. I was making this throat coat. I believe it's called like lemon and ginger tea. Sorry, the Brita literally takes forever to fill up. Um, as you guys know, my throat is just not doing good. So I've been taking um, organic lemon echinacea tea as well as this throat coat one, which I found at Albertsons, which has really helped the swelling if you happen to have any tonsil issue or you have a sore throat yourself. So the first thing I like to do to start on for the meal prep is actually get all of my protein cooking and then I can cook the veggies as the protein is cooking. So first off, we're doing salmon. I didn't know I only got two pieces of salmon, so I thought I ordered a bigger piece, which could be like cut into four, but it's fine. I ended up doing three chicken meals and two salmon, so I just cut it in half. Obviously, I washed my hands before I started all of this prep, and then I like to just poke holes so that when I season it, everything sinks in really well. I ended up using the pink Himalayan salt, which I believe is just from Albertsons, or you could get it at Trader Joe's, which is what I'm using there. And then I also decided to go in with this lemon pepper seasoning. I'm sorry. Yes, lemon pepper. Um, there's a lemon pepper and there's a lemon garlic one, which are which is from Stater Brothers. And if you go to like Barron's or Stater Brothers and you actually go back to the um, produce section, I'm sorry, not the produce section. Girl, what am I saying? If you go back to the like seafood section, they will actually pre-season this for you. Um, and they'll pre-season it like on both sides and you don't really have to do it. But Anywho, it's, it only really takes two seconds. So I had to set the oven to 400. I'm just popping those in there. I like to put tin foil over the pan so there's easy cleanup. And then moving on to the stove top, I'm putting a little bit of minced garlic, and this is where we're going to cook our chicken. So again, I had already washed the chicken, taken it out of the package, washed my hands. I put the stove top on level five, which is like medium. And then I just put all of the chicken in there. I actually like to um, get like a spatula or a fork and move it around here so that there's only one piece of chicken on the pan, if that makes sense. Nothing is, no two or three pieces are piled on top of each other. So everything is kind of an even layer. So it cooks evenly. So as you can see there on the bottom, the white, you can, you could tell when it's been cooked halfway through and then you can just flip it over. So in the meantime, while the protein is cooking, I am getting my fruit ready for the week. So I do like to strain everything and then put everything into a Tupperware, especially so when Christian opens the fridge and he wants to just grab a snack, he can just, you know, reach for a Tupperware that he likes. I ended up doing some pears cutting up some bananas and cutting up some grapes. So I just cut the strawberries here and put them in a Tupperware. Nothing revolutionary, super easy. Um, Christian also really likes blueberries, raspberries, any type of stuff like that. Any type of snack I can just have for him where he doesn't really have to open it or he doesn't have to use a knife or I just like the fruit and everything for the week to kind of be pre-done for him. So just putting everything in a Tupperware here. Um, I also got these Tupperwares on sale at Albertsons. They are very affordable if you happen to need new ones. I know Amazon is also really good. Then I'm doing the exact same thing with the purple grapes. I'm just doing a very, very thorough rinse of them. I know there's also something on Amazon you can buy. It's called Veggie Wash, which you can just fill up your sink with it and actually dump your fruit and veggies in there. And that will like thoroughly clean them as well. But whatever works for you. Um, and then I'm just taking all of the grapes individually and putting them again in here just so it's super easy for Christian and it's good to go. Um, so in the meantime, while I've been getting all the fruit ready, all the protein has been cooking, I actually went ahead and flipped over that chicken on the stovetop. As you can see here, it's almost all the way cooked. So once it only has like five minutes left, I like to add the sauce. This is the panda sauce. It's really, really good. 
Um, try not to do too much because sometimes I have to strain it out. And then for the side, for my carbs, I chose to do rice. Sometimes I do this bag of Thai jasmine rice. Um, my rice cooker is currently broken. I do need to get a new one. So today I'm going to end up using these bags. You just heat them up for 90 seconds. I really like the Uncle Ben's jasmine rice, which you guys have seen me have a bunch. Um, so this is the one I'm going to be using personally, but obviously do whatever you want. Then for veggies, I'm going to be cutting up a bunch of asparagus. I just took the tail ends off and rinsed those and then just put them on the cutting board. And I'm cutting them up pretty small. Um, I really like my asparagus to just be like tiny and cut up. So um, the chicken was actually done. So then I went back to the pan, put all the asparagus in there. I think in a little bit, I ended up adding some of that panda sauce as well. But I just ended up cooking those for about 15 minutes because asparagus is super dense and thick. It takes a little bit longer to cook. So once the chicken was done, I decided to portion it out into three different portions, which ended up coming out to about four ounces of chicken in each meal prep, which is perfect for me. It's super filling, but it's not too much. Um, and then the salmon was actually done as well, which I think I showed you guys a second ago when I took out the, or I'm sorry, when I was cooking the asparagus. The salmon overall ended up taking about 20 minutes in the oven at 400 degrees. So then next I, what am I doing here? Yes, just putting the salmon in there. Um, in each of the meal prep containers. The salmon was a little bit less. I think this ended up being like three ounces each instead of four, which is fine. I don't mind. Like it's really not a big deal. Um, so back to the veggies, I ended up doing yellow squash and I ended up doing zucchini. Um, again, these ones just come like pre-wrapped um, in little circles, but I still like to cut them up smaller than that just because it's just easier. I like my veggie, like mixing up veggies when they're cut really small and tiny. Um, and the asparagus was actually taking too long, longer than I anticipated to cook. So I ended up putting the squash and zucchini in the same pan and just like putting it on the other side. I know this pan looks kind of dirty up on the top. It's just because the previous panda teriyaki sauce I put in there was heating up really hot and it got kind of sticky and it was like sticking to the pan, but it's, it's no problem. It ended up tasting amazing and it's fine. Obviously I can like clean it up after. Um, so the veggies ended up taking, I want to say about 12 minutes total. And I didn't even have to make the broccoli or the mushrooms that I had set out originally that I thought I was going to make because this ended up making enough. So one full pan of this veggie mix actually was enough for all five of my meals. So that's all I needed to make. So I just put the broccoli and the mushrooms back in the fridge and I'm going to go ahead and use those next week or, you know, for my next recipe or whatever. But this ended up being a lot. I actually got a very good serving size of veggies in each meal prep container. So then I used those Uncle Ben's rice packets for 90 seconds, and then I portioned out here half a cup of jasmine rice for each meal prep. Um, of course, if you want to be a little bit more um, detailed rather than using a measuring cup, obviously you can weigh your rice out. But for me, for my body type and for my personal weight loss goals currently, I know that half a cup of rice in each meal prep is perfect for me. Obviously, you could do cauliflower rice or you could do any other carb that you actually want. Um, it's completely up to you, but I've had this meal prep before. Christian and Sadie were coming in. They were like, Mom, I'm so excited because Christian ended up loving this meal prep and he ate one of the chicken bowls right after I filmed this video. So yeah, that's everything here. Super easy, guys. I was out of the kitchen within one hour and it literally cost like 25 bucks to do all of this. The chicken was four bucks, the salmon was seven, and then each veggie pack was between two to three bucks. So it really is very, very affordable. Um, so yeah, you want to, you do want to wait and let your food fully, um, cool down before you put the Tupperware lids on. But other than that, you're good to go. Um, if you are using plastic Tupperware, I recommend you put the food back into a stove top to heat it up. Don't reheat it in the microwave because it's really not good for you or for the food. And it takes some of the nutritional benefits out of the food. Um, but yeah, then you're good to go. Pack up everything, put it in the fridge and you're done. Very easy. I will go ahead and link some other meal prep videos here on the screen. If you want to see other different recipes that I've done, maybe some breakfast meal preps. And I just appreciate you guys watching so, so, so much. Thank you for being here. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video.